good day and welcome to another episode of quarantine or what does the reenactor do whilst I'm quarantine that's been about seven weeks now and as you can see the beer's getting scruffy should be clean shaven but I wandered through the woods and I found a campsite so now I'm going to set up camp I'm going to show you a wee bit what to do if all you've got is a bedroll and a wee bit of oil cloth or a canvas and you didn't have a tent so I'll show you a simple way of doing a quick shelter be back in a moment all right lads we're going to start with a bedroll and as you can see all I have is a wee bit of canvas six by nine and a, a blanket and of course my extra clothing and everything. So uh, this, this oil cloth or this canvas, since I do not have a oil cloth, doesn't have any straps on it. So there's no way to tie it up like you would a regular yeah, shelter or a lean-to. So I'm going to show you an easy way for a soldier or even a civilian to set up a wee bit of shelter. First, it's an wrap this got the top line up here right so in here I did haul two spikes, is that iron tent stakes. Now these can get a wee bit heavy, so it's better to do a stick. If you find a stick in a forest, you whittle it down into a tent stake and I'll show you what it'll look like after it's done. But I'm not gonna do it for you. So, I've got this canvas here. Right. As you can see, you can see through it, so it's not very waterproof, but it'll help you with the dew and at least in the morning. Now, since I didn't have any straps on this corner, I'm going to take a musket ball, right? I'm going to wind it up in the, the pocket here, make a wee pocket, and then. Take my top line, tight it around there, now you can do a slip knot or you can tie it however you want it as long as it's secure. I'll give you a corner and some rope to, to set up the rest of your tent with. Now you're going to do that with all four corners, but I'm not going to show you each one, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I, I fastened all four corners of my, my canvas here. So I've got the front end with the long straps. Now, if you don't, don't have a musket ball, you can use a small stone or something just to get a, something that the rope can grip around. So you want to tuck it into this corner of the canvas, tie your rope around it. This is going to be our long end. Now in the back, you don't need that long of a rope, so you can use some string and fasten shorter ropes on that, because that's going to be towards the ground, while the other piece is going to be on the top. And you want to go out, find yourself some sticks, about oh, chest high or so, could be lower if you want. And make sure they have a V so you can stick the corner of the tent through the V and tie it around so you can secure this so it doesn't fall over either way. So, first thing you're going to do, here's the wooden tent stakes. 
you want to make sure you, you get a branch that has a another branch coming off here. Cut it this way so you have a piece here to hold the rope down. This may not work that well, but we'll see. I'll put this in the back. I'll put this in the back as well. And use my iron spikes for the front. So what you want to do is take your hatchet or a wooden wooden mallet, something with a hammer that you can bang these in. in the stretch it out. I'm not sure if you can see this or not. We're going to take the back end. I'm going to use this. Throw for end the stick. Making sure it's getting tight. Do the same thing with the other end. Stretch the top. Then you're going to want to take one of your steps here. So if you take this, put your ball in between the, the V up here. Then you're going to wrap this around your rope around it twice. One around each side. That's to keep this from slipping. And then you're going to want to stretch it tight. in your stick. Just put on so soft here and just push it in. More here. And then you want to tie this off. Now you can do a slip knot. Which I'm not very good at. Let's see how it works. And you can use that to tighten it. Now it's going to fall over until I get the other one up. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Put the ball in the middle. Wrap your rope or whatever you have around each tongue. Make sure that's good to take so that ball won't come out. Then you hammer in your other stake. Do the same thing on this side. Make sure it's nice and tight. Maybe you have a wee bit of a shelter. It's no much. That'll keep the dew off your off yourself. Now all you have to do is lay your blanket under there, and you're good to go. So as you can see, you've got the stake. Make sure this is in there and tied down tight, so this doesn't fall around. Keeps this taut this way. Make sure your back stakes are taut, 
Now you'll have a wee bit of a bend in the front there. You can correct that by putting a stick in the middle. Of course that takes up some of your room. But that's good for a quick night shelter. Now if you have a buddy and he has the same setup, have him put that his oil cloth on the bottom and then you share your blankets and it'll be a nice toasty night. So that's a, a quick way of doing a simple shelter with what you got on the march. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're not suffering too much during this quarantine period. And I'll see you soon. Take care.